Hey guys, I'm going to be setting my first, actually my first coyote trap. I've been watching my dad and learning how to do it, so it's actually going to be my first coyote set. I found a pretty good spot right here when we're out looking in the woods, and this looks like a pretty decent spot. This looks like something's been digging, so we're going to do a double dirt hole, which would be in those two dirt holes where you put your bait, your lure, urine. Um, fox urine, cat urine, coyote urine. You put your two dirt holes right there, and then you put your traps right there. Maybe you look, look, maybe you might look around a little bit more, but I think I'm, I'm liking this spot right here. Hi, it's me, Wyatt Tate from Wyatt Tate Outdoors. I hope you all are enjoying this video. But before we get back to it, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Back to the video. Okay, so I have two bags here. I have the second bag, which has the traps, the hammer, the stake driver, the traps, that's why it's called a trap bag, and then I have the um, bait bag, which has your fox urine, and you're probably wondering why there's marshmallows and stuff there, well that's, the marshmallow and the jelly is actually for raccoons, so me and my dad actually for, called our first bobcat, if you want to learn more about that, it is on my YouTube channel and Instagram. You always want to wear gloves because with like raccoon and stuff, you don't really have to worry about um, your scent and stuff. But when you're doing, when you're working with like coyotes and fox, you really want to wear gloves. So I'm clearing this stuff out to set the um, coyote trap. And actually, as I'm looking here, it looks like a good spot, but it might not be because of how soft this soil is. When I put the earth anchor in, I will I will be able to tell if and you always wanna clear all your roots out here and so I'm digging the dirt hole to put the lure and bait in. So, what the lure and bait does is it actually, like, calls the coyote, call the, it calls the coyote in or whatever you're trapping. Okay, so why I dug the hole now and I didn't do anything with it is because you want to bait it last. Because if you get bait on your trap, your trap is kind of ruined. Now we're ready to set the trap. And you always, when you push it down, you always want to make sure they're on and you always want to have this up because the trap cannot catch you and you want to go in from behind and there you have it and now it is now because now then see how that's up so high I will set the night latch here. So now you just, and I did it up there because the soil is actually like really soft here. So. And you want to throw this like dirt and stuff, like not dirt, but like all this leaves and if you want to try to throw that away. Then you're digging this out so it, because if that trap, when the coyote, well, we hope the coyote goes in it. Um, when the coyote goes in it, you don't want it to move because if it moves, then the coyote will like know something's up. And sometimes you want to pack this in. Okay, so now the next step is to take the earth anchor and stick it on the earth anchor driver.
So now I'm putting the earth anchor in, and I'm kneeling on this kneeling pad, and I have, um, like, hip, not hip waders, but, like, chaps, so you don't get sent all over the place. Now you pull, you pull up on your trap until it's nice and snug. Then you have excess here. Sometimes you want to just hammer that in and pack that back down in. Sometimes you want to Okay, so now that I have the trap position where I want it I'm going to put now this is ready to set if you touch that you will get caught Then you want to put some antifreeze Make sure that's antifreeze so I had to make a couple of adjustments actually because it wasn't like super tight. And now you're going to put the antifreeze, antifreeze, sorry about that, antifreeze down so the trap does not freeze. Okay guys, so now we're going to set the night latch. Normally you would lift this up and use your thumb, but since it's already set, you can use this thing. And you want to be super quiet when you go to push it down because you want to hear it click. So a night latch is, there's a little, actually, right here, if my camera woman would come over here, please. That's my mom. It has a little, little notch there. That's the night latch. When you put the night latch on that, then when you, when the trap sits down on that, then it's like, oh, uh, I think it's like two pounds and it'll set it off. So like right now how it is, see how it's super high up in the ground? When the night latch is on, I'll show you that in a couple, like in a few seconds here, it will be super low and then it's like super easy to go off. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the night latch. Make sure to listen. You hear that click? That's the night latch. And that's like super like I'm shaking because some of them, it's like it takes super long. And now that trap is ready to set. So like if I would accidentally drop a tool on it or hit it, it will go off and it will catch you. Trust me, it hurts like the bejeebus. Come paint cover and you sit that on. And you want to trim just a little bit off. And you always do it in your bag, and you And this is helpful when you put the wax dirt on that the stuff doesn't get under the pan. Perfect. And now you take your wax dirt. Basically, it's dirt with wax on it. So when you, when water gets on it, it doesn't, it kind of like runs off. Ooh. Now you gotta watch your paint cover to make sure it doesn't move. Okay, so now I actually put more wax dirt around and you sift the peat moss. And peat moss is like super light. 
And you want to do this until your trap is completely covered. Just kind of like sprinkle it where it is. And then you want to take... This is the hard part because if you like make your strap go off, you got to do it all over again. You want to... That trap there is basically pretty much done. Then you just take your sifter, which helps a big. Oh, oh. That um, that trap could have just went off there, guys. Oh, thanks, boy. Take your sifter and sift your dirt, and that makes help the helps it blend in and make sure the rocks don't. There you go, we're that's done. Now we'll take some leaves and... So you don't want to throw them on top. Well, sometimes you can throw them on top, but some most of the time you want to do this because actually when you just like throw a big leaf on top, when the animal gets caught, this will be in the trap which gives him more room to pull his leg out. Okay, so now you're putting, why you change gloves is because you don't want to put your bait stuff with your other gloves. So you're going to put either fox, urine, bobcat, urine, or coyote urine. It doesn't really matter, so we're gonna go with coyote urine. So you wanna take some coyote urine and put it on both sides of the traps. And you want to put it above the trap, the hole, above the two dirt holes. And then you want to put this stuff that's called howled out. You want to take a stick and then you take your yodel dog here. And you take it and put it right in between the two dirt holes. Then you take your hellfire here and you come up here and you put it on the stick right there. And then that's your trap, that's your coyote set. And right here, you can actually kind of hard to tell where the traps are at. They're pretty good blended in. And then sometimes, right, like right down here, if you want to heal, you kind of want to like put this stuff like, kind of like kick it and kind of like disturb it. And you can take some wax dirt and just, there we go. And there is your double dirt hole coyote set. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and check me out on Instagram, Wyatt Tate Outdoors. Bye, everybody.